What's up guys, I'm Danny702 and we are here at Universal Studios Orlando to check out the Halloween Horror Nights Tribute Store for the very first time. I think most people know Halloween Horror Nights is a huge and loved event during the spooky season here at Universal Studios on both coasts. Sadly this year, the year of the Rona, Universal will not be holding Halloween Horror Nights. Now full disclosure, I have never been to Halloween Horror Nights. I was going to face my fears this year and since I finally have a Universal Studios pass, we were going to go, but hopefully we'll check out some other spots around town that are happening. But we are here today to go to at least the Tribute Store. What is the Tribute Store? It is not Halloween Horror Night. This is just a tribute. The Tribute Store opened at the end of July and it is currently the beginning of September. I have taken my time to come over here. I definitely have been waiting for a day that I can come during the week because the weekend has been a bit busy. Usually there is a long line. Right now there is no line at all. And let's take a look down the street. You can see that uh, the crowds are very low on the weekdays. All right, we're entering the store. No line, no wait. Ooh, there's a whole lot of stuff to look at already. Ooh. Very, very spooky. Kind of looks like we are in Dr. Frankenstein's lab, right? My goodness. Universal does feel big for Halloween. That is for sure. Even just the tribute store is themed out like crazy. Lots of detail in here. It was definitely a good call on waiting for the weekday. There is no one in here with me. I can definitely take my time. Poster's pretty cool. Made me from dead. The Bride of Frankenstein. Whenever I hear the word Frankenstein, I think of Big Daddy. Yeah, see, I'm not much of a spooky movie kind of person. <laughs> Frankenstein reminds me of Big Daddy. I thought this was a jukebox, but it's a Franken mold. Witness the horror. Ah, so it made some mold for you of Frankenstein monster. He'll end up looking like that. Even though there is no Halloween Horror Nights this year, there is at least the Tribute Store to hold you over. The store has all the HHN merch you can find for the year in one place, as well as they decorate it almost or just as cool as some of the areas in HHN. I keep thinking this thing is gonna pop up and scare all of us. It's alive! So far, it has not moved. Shot glasses themed after some of the famous monsters. These seasonal rubber duckies are awesome. There's an exclusive pass holder, universal pass holder shirt. Now we're moving into the next room. Oh no, and there's that creepy clown. No, 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 no. Ew, he looks so real. It's so creepy. Oh, but once you take a look around, wow, this room is cool. Yo, this has got fun house vibes all over the place. Oh, there's some massive clown shoes. The first Halloween Horror Nights was held at Universal Orlando in 1991 under the name Fright Nights. At that time, it was a three night event right around Halloween and it only had one haunted house. The next year, it changed the name and expanded slightly with two houses and five nights. As you can imagine, it kept expanding and it is now a huge event with countless houses, scare zones, themed shows, even themed food. This year, they not only have the merch that would have been themed to 2020, but they also have some few retro items from past years. Oh boy, look at these masks. Oh my god, that is horrifying. Ugh. Oh, yikes. <laughs> a lot of the creepy monsters or creepy serial killers or, oh god, creepy whatever this guy is. Oh jeez, oh no. Oh, there's Chucky. Oh no, and there's little kids laughing behind me. Oh, I am familiar with this one. I do watch Stranger Things. There's a walking dead mask, and of course the Ghostbusters. The Stay Puff. That one's not too bad looking. There's also Halloween Horror Nights face coverings. Now this kind of threw me off. I had to ask somebody the 30 years of fears because if it started in 1991, that obviously is 29 years. What she had told me was that in the year 1990, they had kind of like a inaugural type of an event, but they are counting it and so it's 30 years. And in the corner where it says tickets, if you look inside of the ticket booth, there are pamphlets or flyers from past Halloween Horror Nights. So this one here, 1993. And then if you 
keep looking back here. I don't see the year on that, but you can tell that they're actual ones from past events. All right, heading into the cat's meows, meows, <laughs> and going into the next room. Oh, we got a walkway full of old posters. 1995, Journey into Fear, 1996, You'll Never Sleep Again, 1997. Hey guys, how are you doing? All right, we're entering the third room. Ooh, there is a lot of black light in this one. Luckily, I brought the right camera for that. We got a creepy piano. Got a lot of vintage stuff. Like the old, what is this one called? Is it a phonogram? Oh, there's even a really cool vintage car up there. Okay, this is where the candies are. All the snacky snacks. These are beating heart jellies. Can you guys tell them that? Oh yeah, look. See how they're moving? The hearts are actually beating. That is so cool how they did that. And they're edible gummies. In this room, they have uh, different kinds of treats available. I don't know, I got my eye on these mummy lemon tarts. Oh, cute are these? <laughs> Red velvet blood spatter cake pops. Zombie cookie dough cup. Yum. Werewolf chocolate cake pop. Oh, it's a Halloween cake. That one's a vanilla and chocolate cake mix. The little macaron on top is a mint flavored one. Yeah. And the little eyeball is a gummy. The severed limb lime slime. Vegan brownie school. Ooh, that looks really fun. A white chocolate mummy pretzel, a maple bacon donut, bacon cheddar scallion waffle stick. Would you look at the size of this donut? Holy moly! <laughs> That's amazing! This donut is massive and it's bigger than my hand for sure. Like, it's huge bungas. I do want to try one of the snacks. I'll need the lime tart, but I'm currently on a little bit of a eat healthy kind of kick right now. Oh dang, look at this dollhouse. We have spider webs all over it. It's funny, I can take some really innocent things, like things that are supposed to be for children, and make them real spooky. Ooh! Ooh, I just saw this. Ooh. All right, we're heading into the next room. And I can see it. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. It looks like we've entered the first well, scene the of the Beetlejuice where we first oh, yeah. meet him. Oh man, this is way too cool. Trumbled by the living? Is death a problem and not the solution? Unhappy with eternity? <laughs> Having difficulty adjusting? Well, you can call Beetlejuice very easily. You just speak his name three times. A lot of different types of merch here for Beetlejuice. Socks. You got the handbook for the recently passed. Chains, keychains. T-shirts. Everything Beetlejuice. There's even face coverings. Oh, it looks like it's a mausoleum. Okay, that makes sense. That's why we see the reefs here. There's one for Adam and one over here for Barbara. Heading up the stairs. And oh no, there is the Beetlejuice snake. Oh, it's a snake. It's a Beetlejuice snake. Oh, and there's this little tail wiggling in the background. Oh, oh God. Oh, that face. That's just a face the mother could love. Oh, here we are at Dante's. <laughs> This is so cool! They definitely have taken scenes straight out of the movie and put us right into it. Sandworm incidents increased 13% from last year. It was from the movie. He was reading in the beginning of the movie. I think we're coming to the end because it looks like this is where you would pay for the items that you want to buy. It's kind of like checking into the afterlife. Right from the movie as well. And then there's Barbara and Adam in the seance scene. This is so cool. Wow, check out the detail in that face. Holy smokes. They look incredibly real. Like, I can swear these things are gonna move. Or at least blink. Wow. I wonder what is behind each of these doors. Like this one here. It's super thin and skinny. Oh dang, and this is where we're gonna be waiting for a very long time, if you guys can't tell. <laughs> Number... Oh, ooh, I'm not gonna attempt to say that number. <laughs> Tobacco or help? Choose help. Unlike this guy. We have exited the store. That was amazing. For someone who's never been to Howling Horror Nights, that was so cool. I know for sure if you like HHN, you will love the tribute to the door. Even the room with the clown, which I hate clowns, that was probably my favorite room. There's a whole lot of detail 
all over that place. It's very, very sad. We won't get Halloween Horror Nights this year. I was definitely looking forward to going, even though I would be scared to, uh, but Jesus, <laughs> I was still gonna do it. I was gonna be a trooper and I was gonna do it. But we'll just have to wait for next year. Until next time guys, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you later. Bye.